Welcome back. You can call this week zero for the Blitz tonight. Public school teams participated in some jamborees for their final tune-ups before kickoff next Friday night. But tonight, the private school season kicked off in full as all MAIS football teams were in action. We start in Flowood for the debut of Tyler Turner at Jackson Prep, taking over for the legendary Rick and Ricky Black. Patriots hosting Greenfield Christian. Come off one for MRA, but Paxton Thompson hits Luke Williams for a 23-yard game for Prep. No score in the drive, though. The Saints, they would get the ball. They cash in on a deep pass as Will Riley hauls in the TD and Greenville Christian with first lead of the game. And then special teams comes into play. On the ensuing kickoff, the ball gets behind the Patriots, and then after they collect it, the ball pops loose, and the Saints would corral it, recover, and return it for a quick touchdown. They made it 12 nothing Saints. The Patriots, though, they did get their run game going as William Dees, the big running back, gets a good gain there on fourth and three. That would set up a field goal by Louis Gatlin. But the Patriots, they will fall on their opener 48 to 13 to the Saints. Another debut in Flowood, Craig Bowman and the Hawks of Hartfield Academy on the field for the first time this season, hosting the Clinton Christian Academy of Warriors. Their new head coach, Zach Rogold, and they're coming off a win over Hillcrest Christian, but Cruz Gartner hitting Blake Gartner for a big game here. Blake knifing his way through the defense, getting the first down and a lot more. And then Gartner, I like this play here on this catch, rolls out and he's going to find his big man, Reed Jezielowski, with the baseball slide catch there for the nice touchdown. Uh, the Warriors, though, they were trying to get their run game going. Hartfield was up big, 35 nothing in the first quarter, and this was a, a key play here. The Warriors getting the run game going, but Xavier Davis gets a loose ball as it was stripped, and he goes in for the touchdown. Big lead for Hartville. Hartfield. No scores reported. They were up 35 nothing at the end of the first, so a big win for them. Another big game tonight, Jackson Academy taking on Starkville Academy. Jay looking to start the season with a big statement win. The game starts, the defense will struggle, but the Rays respond in third quarter. Marcus Harris rumbled his way for the first TD of the season from 37 yards out, 16-0 J.A. The Raiders defense continued to shine. One of their five sacks on the night by Max Walenta. Take Collins found C.J. Banks from 75 yards away for a TD pass, at, his first TD pass as a Raider. You see him go into the end zone. Porter Harrell hauled in one of three picks on the night for J.A.'s defense. I mean, they were executing on both sides of the ball. Clayton White fired his first TD of the year to Trey Adams from 32 yards out. J.A. pulls off a 37-0 season opening win. Up next, Leak Academy in Madden next Friday at 7. Now we go out to Pearl Park Place Christian Academy Crusaders starting their campaign at home against St. Aloysius. And the flashes on the road trying to come back, and they got their run game going. Nice carry here to get in Crusaders territory as the flashes break along the left sideline there. And uh, check out this play from St. Aloysius. They're trying to score. They're down 40 to 18. Joe Johnson breaking tackles, and this somehow he stays in bounds and darts his way into the end zone. Terrific play. I had to put this on there. The bad thing was. There was a flag for illegal block, so it had to uh, come back. But a big reason why Park Place was ahead, Josh Sykes with a nice catch there for 20 yards out. St. Aloysius, they win their opener 40 to 26 over the flashes. Now we go out to Kapaya Academy. St. Joe's returning to the MAIS level. They let 19 to nothing in the third, but Emil Piccarella and the Bruins offense, they're at their own goal line. Starting a drive, they fumble in the end zone. The Colonels recover. And that would give them their first lead of the game off that play, yeah. and they would continue the roll. The Colonels would go to their air attack and convert again for the touchdown. Kabaya comes back from a 19-point deficit to score 34 unanswered. They win 34-19 over St. Joe's. Here's some other scores from week one of the MAS season. MRA on the road, they bounce back for the first win of the season against Natchez Cathedral for a 56-7 win. And Tri-County Academy, they win big over Indianola, 47-7 their opener. Central Hines Academy, they shut out Washington 27-0 to get a win tonight. And we'll be back after this.